We are excited to announce the beta release of Forest Pack 9, which includes Forest Ivy, our brand new plugin designed to simplify the creation of climbing plants. As you can see, it features a super fast multi-threaded algorithm so you can get instant feedback. That means no more waiting for growth simulations. It also uses a combination of drawing for precise placement and algorithmic control for natural distribution to help you strike the right balance between art directable planting and natural lifelike results. The best way to get started is using a preset. In the beta, we have a couple of them included, but the final release will include many, many more. So to get started, you'd go to the create panel and click on forest ivy. Click and drag to create a new forest ivy object in the viewport and then switch to the Modify panel. In the General Rollout, click on the Library button to open the Library Browser. Find the Climbing Plant preset from the list of included assets and click Load Selected. Now you can go to the Growth Rollout. Click on the Plus button and pick a surface from the scene on which you'd like the plant to grow. Alternatively, you can use the Load Multiple button to load surfaces from a list. If you want to remove all the existing surfaces, use this Delete button. Now all you need to do is click on the brush icon and draw a baseline on the surface. The ivy will continue to grow based on this initial stroke. You can draw as many baselines as you like. To delete a baseline, use the eraser tool or to remove all of the baselines, click on the bin icon. Finally, use the growth level parameter to determine the size of the plant. Increasing this value makes the plant larger, simulating a longer growth duration. Even with a large growth value, you can still continue to draw at any point. The Ivy Grow plugin is very fast, so you'll get instant feedback on the final results. To wrap up, let's look at a more complex example. As you can see, as I paint the Ivy on this building, it's growing across a window. To fix this issue, you can limit the growth to particular material IDs. Just enter their values in the Material ID box to limit the growth to those surfaces. The cladding is on ID 1, so you can see by entering that value, I remove the ivy from the glass. If you prefer, you can use the IDs listed in this box to exclude ivy, just by turning on the Exclude option. Here I'm excluding ID 6, which is the glass. Multiple values can be used by separating them using commas. For example, if I enter 5, which is the window frame, I can remove the ivy from there as well. This plugin has been a labour of love for the i2 team, so we're really excited to have a release out that users can try for themselves. We'd love to hear any feedback you might have. In fact, it's vital in helping us to refine and polish it before stable release. Please feel free to ask questions, share your experiences, report bugs or suggest improvements in the beta feedback thread on the forum. You'll find the link below.